Oh. All my boxes I'm packing. All my stuff I'm giving almost everything away. I'm getting rid of almost everything I have. My clothes and almost not everything. I don't need or want anything. I need I need what I need. And plus I have a feeling that soon I'm going to be tra traveling. I'm not sure how I know that things are getting ready to change. <laughs> um, okay, so anyhow. I don't like to see my boxes in the background. <laughs> It doesn't really matter. It's just a song anyway. Okay, so. Um. Shoot. Hang on. I gotta go get my fake weed. We should stop this video. I can't think. I don't need smoke weed right now. I guess I can't. I can find my fake weed, but I can't find my fake weed pipe. <laughs> I have a lot of issues <laughs> I need to worry about. That's bothering me. <laughs> matches I've been I haven't slept in my room in over a month or weeks so I've been sleeping in the living room um Sherry we literally wanted to get back on here so I've got mirror mirror I brought the ones I could out here so here's all the all the demons in hell from hell here they are in here One's pink. <laughs> You're gonna ride in the crazy train. <laughs> okay, so next church day has been first time since a long time. I mean, it has been a long, long time. Since I went to church and um, I brought my crystal with me and uh, oh, I learned new words in Korean. Hang on. You know, I'm so nervous with all that's happening. This is a lot, Carrie. That's happening. This is a lot of weight on my shoulders too. If I fuck this up, everybody's going to end up suffering for it. But you guys don't want to have it. Everybody just wants to sit there and watch, tree, make a mess out of everything. If I don't get some help, I probably will just because you guys won't help me. But anyhow. Sada Hamida, Sada Hamida, Sada Hamida. That means I love you. Sada in Korean. And. Kam sa hamida, kam sa hamida means thank you. It was neat because the Korean neighbor, when she told me the words, you know, she sang them, sang them. She goes, kam sa hamida, because first she was singing it in the car, you know. And um, it was funny, she's Korean and her, and her husband, and she sat in the back seat with me with the empty front seat. <laughs> it felt kind of weird. She's singing, sa da hamida. I'm like, what's that? She goes, that means I love you, thank you. And then, Kichak means miracles. And Shinku is a friend in Korea. And guess what I learned today? I learned that back in the there was a time when the Chinese, you know, in Korea they controlled the Korean people and the Korean people 
had a spoken language, but they didn't have a written language because the Chinese wouldn't let them know how to read or write because they control a lot of us by people. If they can't read or write, can you imagine that they don't read or write? So the Koreans went off and made their own language. Their own very own language by themselves because they, the Chinese tried to take The Chinese are definite reptilian. The Chinese rulers are, well, all the rulers of all the world are reptilian. Every ruler of every world, every place, a country in this world is inhabited by reptilians. And a lot of humans here in the world are related to reptilian, humans that are, are inhabited by reptilian or know them. They don't tell the humans. They told me, and they let me see them because I found them. I went out and found them. And plus they know I love them. And the reptilians right now that are inhabiting the human bodies, okay, there's no more bodies of humans being born with the compatible aura, which the reptilians call the black aura, to inhabit. And so after the bodies that they're in, which Leo's the youngest, he's 26, and me, I'm 41, and me, Leo, and Master Mason are the only ones that are not inhabited by the reptilian that have this aura. But, um, so they're all, that are inhabited are all over 41. So when they die, they're dying off like crazy. Two of them are so old. But once they die in this human body, then there's no more bodies for them to inhabit. So they're going to this cold, dark, hell place, you know, where they go. But now, instead of going there, guys, guess what? Um, the reptilians that are dying know that there's no more bodies to come back and inhabit. You're not going to that cold, dark hell anymore. Now, when you guys, the reptilians, so in 50 years, if our age frame stays the same, things don't change or we get our immortality or extension of lifespan in the next 50 years all reptilians that are having humans will be gone dead gone okay but and they'll be the reptilian body won't be dead because when the human body dies that means doesn't mean the reptilian the rept when the human body dies that the reptilian is having the reptilian doesn't die that is of course unless they're stuck they're, that is unless of course they're in the body when the human body dies the reptilian isn't having a human and they die, the human dies with the reptilian in it, the reptilian dies. Dies, dies. I don't know where they go, Panda or Drake, and nobody knows where they go. But, um, but when the human body that the reptilian is inhabiting dies, but the reptilian is still alive, then they, this cold, dark hell, it's a dimension. And dimensions, other dimensions, worlds, everything is access through the crystal, like the quartz crystal, the microchip is used in all communication devices, silicone, silicone valley, it's funny, all these women walking around with fake boobs are wearing big old microchips, um, but anyhow, um, so don't worry about going to your cold dark hell, because when you guys, your human bodies die that you're in, you're gonna come, um, you're coming here with me. It's me, with me, and it's warm, and you're safe. Of course, you have no power or control to control me or it at all whatsoever, and you have no power to hurt anybody either, but you will be safe and you will be warm. Basically, you guys just get to watch through my eyes what's going on. You get to experience reality through, and eventually the bloodline will bring the only way that the reptilian can come back, the reptilians call themselves Sang Aryan. Sang Aryan. And uh, the Aryan Brotherhood, too, that's where that came from. Um, but the, originally, but um, when you, the, those who become Sang Aryan, well, the only way that the reptilian can actually, and the human, they need to come back to get, like, the. Uh, there needs to be, it's called kind of like synergy, synergy. Haha, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Um, so to be warmed through the womb, warmed through the womb, it might take a long time for a lot of you guys to get back here, you know, and stuff, but pulls us off and stuff, we're not going to be dying, we're growing old and dying, we're going to be able to heal and live here without having to worry about death or illness or sickness, and so um, there will be time to regenerate a new bloodline, of course. It might, it might take a while, but guess what, it's a lot better than spending eternity in hell, isn't it? But, um, I don't know who's going to come through and who is that's up to God. I call her Creator Homer for home. Um, 
So I went to the Christian church today. The choir, oh my God, I thought I sang bad. You should have heard of it. It was, it was horrible, the most off-pitch people singing you could imagine. There was 10 of them. It was like, ah! It was fun. It was cute. Um, <clears throat> in church, they don't let you debate when they're preaching. And they were like, okay, we worship, we worship the word, the, whole, the word. Everybody held their Bibles up. He goes, we live by the word. That's God. That's what we do. The word. We listen to the Bible. The Bible tells them what to do. Not God or not Jesus or not any emotional, nothing. They say the Bible, the word, the book, the Bible. And I'm thinking, okay, well, first of all, there's so many different visions and revised and edited and stuff. One word can change the same, the meaning of the entire thing. And plus, I wanted to tell them, um, I wanted to ask them, they go, and Jesus might come like a, a thief in the night. And I wanted, so I was like asking, I was like, well, I was trying, I wanted to raise my hand so bad. Like, I, you know, and stuff, but the, out of respect for the people that I was with, the Christian lady and her husband, I, out of respect, I withheld myself and stuff. Of course, I did try to ask some questions, but I never got answers. But I was like, okay, so people have to do what the Bible says, believe the word, the word, literal. And I go, okay, well, spare the rod, spoil the child. What does that mean? You're supposed to beat your kids? I go, do you know how many people throughout time have beat their kids and justified it? Because the Bible says, spare the rod, spoil the child. And they have to believe and do what the word says. Okay, couldn't answer that. And I was, and God, God, Jesus might come like a thief in the night. Okay, now that's a powerful statement. Everybody's heard that. A thief in the night. I'm clear. Okay, is that literal? Is Jesus a thief? A thief is somebody that steals. And in the night, he's hiding, sneaky. And I'm like, okay, so to have such a powerful quote, this the word literally, a thief in the night. I'm like, whoa. So is Jesus a stealer, or were you guys just kidding? They didn't answer that either. Um, and I was like, okay, well, it's a sin to be jealous. But then the Bible says, I am a jealous God. And there was many more questions too, but I didn't, I didn't give any answers. Um, <laughs> but the Christians, you know, but like they made us stand up and sit down about five times through the entire time. Stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down. And I was like, this is irritating. And, um, but you know, the churches are corrupt. Okay, but there's many people that go to churches in their hearts, even though they're being mind controlled, manipulated um, by a play on words, play on words. Still, there's many, many, many good Christians, people that want to have love and no love and love. They're good people. And so, and there was so much love, they, they made everybody stand up and everybody tell everybody that you love them and hug them and walk around and hug everybody and tell them you love them. <laughs> and believe it or not, I was more just sitting back watching. I wasn't overly aggressive because I knew if I started, I wouldn't be able to stop. Um, but I was letting this, my aquamarine, I could tell them anything else about it, but I was, they were all looking at it and touching it and, oh, you know, holding it. I'm going, look, look, look. And everybody's holding it. They had no idea they were holding all the demons from hell. And, but the demons from hell, I did that because so the reptilians, so they feel the love. I'm out of time, but I think I have more to tell you. I'll be back in a second. Hmm?